Overnight, the first shots were fired in what may turn into an all-out trade war with China. The U.S. placed a 25 percent tax on $34 billion worth of goods imported from China, including auto parts and medical devices. China hit back with tariffs on U.S.-made products, including beef, pork, soybeans and cars. One state that could be caught in the squeeze is Wisconsin. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce warns the tariffs could slice a billion dollars off Wisconsin's exports, most notably cheese. Here's Dean Reynolds. Come on, girls, let's go. Stacy Lindbergh's family owns a small dairy farm with 75 cows and a lot of anxiety. We don't make a lot of money. We're not really making any money at this point in time. While a glut of milk in the U.S. has driven down U.S. dairy prices for the last few years, President Trump's tariff tiff may make matters even worse by forcing foreign customers to look for cheaper dairy products from other sources. Stacy supports the president, but worries about what a trade war would mean. Everything is very uncertain at this point. Her farm in Plymouth, Wisconsin, sends all its milk to Sartori Company, makers of a variety of cheeses. This was milk just a few hours ago. Yes. 12 percent of what Sartori makes is exported, with Canada and Mexico its main foreign markets. But Mexico's new 25 percent tariff on American cheese in retaliation for the American tariffs on steel and aluminum imports means Sartori cheese is suddenly more expensive there. Sartori President uh, Jeff Schwager. Mexico has already signed a free trade agreement with the European Union. Uh, so Europe can export cheese there with no tariff, no duty. So if this is going to go on long term, the customers down there will look for an alternative product without the tariffs on it. Other Wisconsin exports like cranberries or apples could be adversely affected. And Schwager says once those markets are lost. It's going to take us a long time to get that shelf space back at the grocery store. Hard cheese for dairy farmers like Stacy Limburg. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Plymouth, Wisconsin.